Welcome back on Dynamod. Today I want to propose you a video about uh, the unboxing and review about the issue 480 of September 2022 released by the Kensuo Shop. Here we have the second of the new type of web app that is the same, simply there are some things that have been changed. And uh, as usual, here are the contents that you can find also inside. But uh, what uh, I don't like is that uh, it's really massive. The, amount of writing and so on on it so okay it's like this and uh, we see that the special feature it's uh, if you buy from the subscription that uh, you can avoid such uh, writing that it's quite uh, I can say invasive it's quite um, not so good anyway now we go to see about such with alpha here we can see the Tanati cover that it's the same as this one so it's exactly the same still without uh, any writing on and it's much better so i hoped that it was not uh, like this so that it was with uh, the alternative cover that it was uh, different instead it's the same uh, simply without uh, the writing it's uh, simply it and here we can find something that it's inside and are the te the taste for the campaign so we can find here the ties and uh, here there is another part uh, that are for the campaign of Nephilim that it's inside. Sincerely, I continue not to like such inserts like this, but uh, it's better than the ones that uh, can be put uh, and can be, I can say, destroyed, uh, bringing out. So it's not so bad. Uh, eventually, we can try to photocopy them because uh, it can be useful in that way. Here we can find the contents. And I like such two images. This is little about the necklace and it's uh, really quite amazing. So much that uh, eventually I suggest you to make a photo so on and use uh, like a wallpaper. And this uh, is something that we yet seen because it's uh, one of the two separations that we can find with the set box of uh, Dominion. So it's not a problem about such. We have, I have two of these. So it's not a problem. Still, it's uh, quite nice to see, and uh, it's uh, a good poster about Age of Sigma. And here the contents, but we've seen the same ones here at the end of the way up, so it's the same about. And here we have the main list of the readers to the way up. I like always to watch this, watch not read, because I like the modifications, uh, the changes, uh, the dioramas that come out of from this. So there are a lot of things that are really quite interesting because you can find schema colors, you can find ideas about basing and so on. So there are a lot of things. Think about the spiritos. This is quite interesting to see with the same spiritos as usual because are the classic one, but change in the way that the basing change the approach of the spiritos themselves. See about this that with a mask you can change completely the profile and the idea about them you can also see here that you have different basing here even if here it's not so good at the base itself but the changing can be quite interesting also here it's the same but with different schema colors here we can find quite interesting to a modify so there are a lot of things that can be quite amazing and here an article by andy clark where it discusses what is good, what is bad in the world of uh, Warhammer 40k, but you can apply also in Age of Sigma. And so the LNG sensor that can be strange, but uh, available, and so it can be interesting. Here it's uh, practically Indomitus, because here it's the faction of Necron against the Mew that you can find in the Indomitus part. So it's always nice to see. I like such type of photo with a lot of realistic models and so on. Here we have the part about the fresh point of Nephilim, so the continuation, the background and so on, here the image that we've seen before. And um, I like always uh, to read this because there are a lot of background and images that um, for me it's uh, quite inspirational about. And uh, you can find a lot of things and uh, idea to convert models to create your armies and so on. So it's something that I always suggest to do even if you don't play the campaign because I don't play it. And here the campaign explained uh, of what we've seen before about that is so the ties so that we have everything explained so on and uh, sincerely it can be useful for the ones that want to pay such campaign or create a similar campaign so that they know how to do eventually and create uh, these ones personalized eventually you can use uh, for example the background of here and then change the other parts so that uh, you can use 
what you need and so on so it can be really quite interesting and uh, there is also a lot of information about here instead we have an article by Duncan Vogue where it talk about uh, we can say the happening so the how you can develop something so it's a way to understand how it can be done and um, it's not as good as an article but it can be quite interesting anyway and here a lot of kill team because uh, here we have the part about the engaging of the kill team parts so the campaign that are doing in the studio spot kill team and here I only watch the images because, for example, there are the shining elements that can be interesting and so on. Because uh, I'm not interested in Kill Team, I can't uh, appreciate it quite a lot, but still, uh, it's something that can be useful. So, if you are interested about it, it uh, can be quite nice uh, to use. Here, a discussion about the rules of Kill Team, because it's a way to understand better them, and I think that it can be really quite interesting. Other than the images, that I think that are quite interesting to see and uh, try to recreate and to do your photos on I think that can be interesting here we can find about the rules so how it's done how you can create the schools and so on and I like because for example I like such schema color and I think that it could be an option about some of my models of the death card because conquest is of me about it so there is quite a lot to see about and um, it can be useful, maybe to understand some type of schema color that you like, or simply because uh, you can have some idea and you can change and uh, start from it. So it's something that uh, I would suggest you to see, at least uh, to understand if uh, there is something that is worth. Also, the painting about the shining elements and so on can be quite interesting. And here we move on house. And uh, here we can have a lot of information. Here we have the flash point about house and uh, so it's about Gur because it's the campaign how it is now in the background about Ejosima and I find this um, a lot of interesting again about images and so on because I'm not planning to play such campaign still uh, I find that uh, it can be really quite as soon you for going to play for example Path to Glory or so on and there are a lot of information so even if you don't play you can read to have a lot of more info about developing of such there is also an hour about eventually if interested and here we had the rules engagement that in a circular an article about Aguila and here we can find a lot about um, how you can play the game so you can be interested and so on and how you can see some type of uh, structure in the game that can be quite useful and you should take note so it can be quite interesting in a way here we have about work I because has been changed quite a lot lately so it's a way to understand better how it's played and so on and uh, it's a way to have a designer note about the game itself sincerely I don't play work I but um, for the ones that are interesting can be quite useful in that way because uh, you can understand better from the Jewish itself here we have the gallery and I like a lot this one because uh, this way more related about the painting instead of uh, some modifying or so on but um, I think that it's always inspirational because you can see schema color different ones you can see for example some basing that it can be interesting about having something simple to do so there are quite a lot of little things uh, but um, interesting at the same time okay here we have about the V matter that give you some tips about using the brush and so on and uh, sincerely I find it uh, a bit too much maybe because uh, there are a lot of colors that can be also not needed but still uh, it's something that uh, it's uh, nice because uh, you can understand better how to play colors and so on it's uh, a good way here the battle report for all the services on Barbarus that we see in the last web apps that the were the preparation about and so here we have it brought on and here I think that it's a good way to understand the new rules for our heresy and how they can be applied and so on and I find it um, really quite interesting and uh, it's a way to see a good play and uh, I suggest you even if you don't like our it can be quite interesting to see for example uh, the images about the battle and so on that can be maybe inspirational to create some diorama so I think that um, it's uh, quite nice 
you can appreciate or not, it's up to you. Here we have an article by the Black Library with David Kramer, that is one of my favorite authors. And as usual, I suggest you to try to read, because um, it's a way to improve your English, it's a way to maybe read something uh, new from an author that you like, or maybe discover a new author and you can like it. So I think that can be really quite uh, interesting, because um, it's uh, something that uh, if you buy the web app for something else, uh, here it's a bonus that uh, it can be awesome to, to have and to read. Moreover, there are always the images that uh, can be quite uh, nice to see. And here we have the inside the studio, so we can see what will be brought in the next web app. So it can be quite nice to see some events. And so there are a lot of things uh, that can be interesting. I'm going to interested about this uh, the grid stomp here, because um, I'm trying to understand if it's related about here the dragons or maybe some monsters. So it would be quite uh, nice. So what to say about such a dwarf, uh, I have to admit, um, it's uh, less than I'm usually a fan about, because uh, here it's mainly related about Warcry and about uh, Kill Team, and sincerely I'm not a fan of both the games, but there are a lot of things to see about the images and so on, the part about Warhammer 40k is still amazing, because the campaign of Nephilim had a lot of background and so on, so there is quite a lot, the masterclass of the heavy metal, I think that it's uh, really quite interesting. So there are a lot of things, uh, at the same time I'm not so okay, it's really great, this time I have to buy it. I buy it because I like what I buy, but sincerely I suggest you to think if you need it. If you play Kill Team or you play Work High, I think that uh, it's really a good thing. If you're going to play with the Nephilim campaign, it's something to have, because uh, it's a lot of rules added, and I think that uh, it's amazing. Also, if you're going to play the campaign about Gur for Age of Cinema, so there are a lot of things, if you think about, that uh, make this really valuable as releasing. In my opinion, a way, for the ones that I, I find interesting, it's a bit less than usual. Doesn't mean that it's bad, it's simply about what you like and what you don't like. So, do you like it? Write in the comments and uh, you can see. Anyway, from Dynamod it's everything. I invite you to put a like on this video, to subscribe to the channel, to ring the bell and to comment this video if you are interested in something about this video or you want to suggest me some arguments for other videos. I hope to see you again. To the next time!